Here's another project share for you. I'm going to share with you my latest mini album. Um, this mini album kind of uh, was just me trying to use up some of the stuff in my house I thought I never used up. I got this, um, I started with this cardstock paper pad that I got from Michaels and it had all these gorgeous pinks and purples in it and then this bizarre lime green and I thought what can I do with this lime green cardstock and then I remembered that I had these cards. Um, my husband and I went for a walk one day and we passed a store that was um, like a, a paper card store or whatever that was closing and they were just giving away all of their stock. They really just come in and take whatever you want. And there wasn't much left when we got there. But one thing that I picked up were these boxes of cards. And so some of them were like regular like four by six cards and envelopes. And they're not even, um, they're not even greeting cards. They're just like single sheets of cardstock. They don't even um, open, right? It's by something called In Good Company Paper Design. And then we got tons of these, these tall ones. It's like this one with the grasshopper on it. Sorry, the frame's not really big enough to get the whole thing in. And I've got like, I don't know, like 10 boxes of these. And, um, and I've just been kind of sitting on them for a couple of years. And I thought, you know what? I think I can do like a cherry and lime sort of pink and green mashup. And that's where this album came from. So it's made entirely out of those two uh, pieces of supplies. So uh, let's check it out. So here's the front cover, and this is an envelope mini. It's about um, four and a half by six. And these are just like bits I cut out of the cards. And this is another one of the cards in the back, and then just the plain green cover on the back. You can see here it's a hidden hinge system with only uh, two hinges, but still six pages. And, uh, and I didn't put a closure on it because it sits pretty uh, flat and I think even with the photos in it it's still it's not going to need any help closing. So um, let's take a look inside. So it opens like this and then I put like a little pocket on this side. I cut a journal card out of the uh, out of one of the cards. The only downside was they had some of this like fine print on the back but you went going to lose some. And then I made this envelope out of a piece of the pink card stock. And these I just cut off the cards and I just put some extra pieces of card stock inside. So that I can just use a little bit of journaling in there. This is a really simple album. Like, really, I just want to use up these materials. Um, so there's the first page, and each one has a, a photo mat inside, and I just turned it depending on which side the paper looked best on. But I've only matted them on one side. And then I just did um. I, I sort of stole the uh, inside pages from my sister Scrapper. She got the tutorial for the envelope pages from somebody else, um, but I used her ideas for how to um, put, like, um, how to embellish them, because there isn't there isn't any gusset between these pages, right? So you have to keep them quite flat. So I couldn't put much in there. So I just put a couple of tags. So the idea is just like photo and then a caption on the tags, and um, and I left the black the back of the tags um, blank for journaling. Stubborn. And then we've got some grasshopper pages, and same thing again. I'm not going to pull out all the tags, but um, I just made the cardstock match the the mat on the same page. Um, this one does have a bit of a gusset. You can see that's where my hidden hinges, and uh, so I just did something a little bit thicker for an embellishment. So um, four photo mats, and then one spot to journal them you want, and then like a little title block down here, and that's magnetic. I left this page plain, put some more tags in here, a little popsicle. This one's from a striped paper that I didn't really use much of in this album. And some green and white. And this was a good way to use up the cards. I probably used about 20 or 30 of them. I've got probably, I don't know, at least 100. So I was a, put a good dent in them. And then this is just like a photo frame. It's actually, um, there's actually like space that you could tuck the photo in through here, if you so desire. And then this also flips up. So you can put a couple more photos in there. And then on the back, again, I stole this idea from my sister Scrapper on YouTube. Um, it's like an accordion pocket. So this opens up with a magnet, and then you can see that this opens.
these up and you can store all your extra photos in there. So it is a really functional album. Like I think it'll hold um, a lot of photos nicely and I think it'll, um, and there's lots of room to, to caption your photos. But I wouldn't say it's like the prettiest album I've ever made or uh, like I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not totally in love with this album or anything, but it was a good way to use up some scraps and so I mean, all the well that ends well, um, and I finally made an envelope mini that actually works. The trick was just to make the covers way huger than I thought I'd need to. I left a, a point, um, six, six uh, eighths of an inch, or what, three quarters? Five eighths of an inch uh, gap in between the pages, and then another half inch on either side to accommodate the, uh, the pages. So I figured that out last time I made an envelope mini. It was totally puffed up. So yeah, it's good. I don't love it, but it's all right. So thanks for watching.